Hey guys, it's Tammy. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me today. I'm still a little nasally and I apologize for that, but I am getting much better. I don't feel like someone beat me up, so I'm better. I do have a thrift haul for you today. I went to three Goodwills and I went to the Children's Hospital Thrift. So, let's get started and I did a little research before I actually, I recorded it the first time and it stopped. It just completely stopped, so I'm trying it again, and I did look up some stuff to let y'all know what I found. So, the first thing I want to show y'all is some of the things that I actually got the other day when I went thrifting right before work. It's not a lot, it's just a couple things, so hold on and I'm going to show you. The first thing is, let me get this out, because I'd already put everything back in a box to keep it from getting messed up. But I got these little, just a bag of grapes. Um, I wanted to go with my faux fruit, and I didn't have any grapes. And it's like I have all the other fruit, but no grapes. So now I got grapes. And these were three twenty-five half off. It was Orange Day that day. It was Thursday. So I got the grapes. I got these two candlesticks that evidently someone made in ceramics class. But I like them, and they go really well with the, the ridges and the swirls. They go really well with my white dishes that I have. So, cool. I got those. I found these at the Children's Hospital Thrift. Um, they are just little calla lilies and they I, they can either be used in the bunch or I can break them down and use them individually and I was thinking I could just make something out of these it's a whole bunch of them these were 98 cent so I got a whole bunch of those I found did I tell you how much the candlesticks were the candlesticks were two for 325 regular price then I found these these were a great deal. Today's color was green. And I got six pieces for $4.25 half off. Glasses. These are this size. And then this size. And I got three of each size. And they're going to be much easier to find these by the onesies than they are by the bunchy. So I went ahead and picked these up. If nothing else, I can just do a tablescape of two. So, but these are really nice and thick. I didn't even look at the bottom to see if I could make out any kind of words or anything on it. But I saw them and right in the cart they went, especially when I saw the price. So we got those. And I did find this little book at the Children's Hospital Thrift, and I've already started writing in it, but it's just little clear, uh, little blank papers, and I'm always forgetting stuff, and it actually looks like you can refill the paper, so I'm, um, you know, need this. This is a great find. I've got these napkin rings. I'm afraid my camera's going to cut off again, so I did, I'm trying to hurry. These, it's 14 pieces. And I got them for, they were marked $3.25. Napkin rings. 14 pieces. They actually look like grapevine, but they're not. They're metal with the little bling bling on them. I thought they were really, really cute, so I got them. And for 14 of them, you can't beat it. So I got those. Then I found this at the Goodwill. It was just cute, and I picked it up. I might spray paint it. I might leave it like it is, but it's just a little vintage fire truck, and the front wheels actually turn. The back wheels are tight. I think they must have glued it down too tight. The paint might be stuck. Yeah, I fixed it. So the wheels actually move. So I thought that was kind of cute. I paid $2.25 for him. Um, I got, Joe Michael found this, so I went ahead and got it. $1.58. I 
I love British boys. It actually came from Claire's. It's no big deal. But, you know, I can just throw my little, um, I can throw my phone in here and my little thing I keep my credit card or debit card in and be out, out the door and not have to worry about lugging a big bag with me. So I thought that was kind of cute. So I got it. Dollar fifty-eight. So I got that. Then I found this. Look at this. I got a wooden mailbox with a flag. Just, it's a blank canvas. I can do anything on it. And yep, it actually opens. I think it's really cute. I really like it. I think it's going to go really cute with my Christmas decor. Or any time of year. I could put a bird nest in it or anything. I think it's precious. Special delivery. Two twenty-five. It wasn't marked. Um, so I took it up to the register and the lady just said that the lowest price I can go is two twenty-five. So I said, all right, I'll take it. So I got that. All right. Then I found, do y'all remember the uh, British pictures that I found? The look like the hand-drawn British pictures I found? Well, I got this big frame. And it says brown in there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to take all that out. And I'm probably going to put the black pic the pictures in here. And that way I can display it. And it's just really pretty. I really like this a lot. I mean, I can't put all of them in there. But I can put some of them, my favorite ones, and then I can hang it up and actually display it and get them from where they are right now. I don't want them damaged. So I, want, I can, that can be a DIY for me. Then I found this. Now, y'all might think it's crazy, but I really like it. I think it's really cool. Um, I don't know if y'all remember that big gold wire sphere that I found with the bling bling on it. Well, this I paid five twenty-five half off. It's just beaded wire, and it almost looks like the Aurora Borealis uh, beads on it. They're plastic, but I thought it was really cute. I dig the bling. I love the green, so perfect for me. Love it. Okay, then I didn't look this one up. I forgot to look this one up. It was sitting over there, so. I did find this, and I'm pretty sure, I think I said it was Bavarian, a little trinket box or trinket tray. So cute. I hope y'all can see it with the paintings on it, edged in gold. Very, very pretty. Very nice. Very delicate. It's probably bone china. I can't, my lights aren't very bright in here today, so I can't look at, look at it right now. I will look that up. Um, and then I found these at the children's hospital and I was just kind of drawn to them. I've seen them somewhere before. I don't know where, but I really like these. Look, They're salt and pepper shakers. And if anybody knows anything about them, please, please leave it in the comments below so I can know what they are. I didn't see any kind of writing on them. I might take a picture of them and check them on eBay just to see, you know, who or what they are. I mean, I know what they are, but who they are. And if they're worth anything. But I just think they're cute. I like them. So I got them. They were um, two pieces for two ninety eight, Where Goodwill actually had them two for five twenty five. But that is two for two ninety eight from the Children's Hospital Thrift. They get a lot of stuff from the Goodwill. I don't know how they get Goodwill stuff unless somebody just donates it back. But I like these. These are mine. Then I found these. Now these, I've actually looked them up. Let me get my little book. I have it. These are um, Kim Steinbow. Steinbow. I am going to butcher it. A-T-A-G-I-R-I, -I, Japan. Uh, Kim Steinbow Steinbow is the um, the creator of these. And I can sell one for $12.99 plus $7.99 shipping or whatever. They are the unicorn, um, carousel horse 
mug. So these are really, really cute. I like them. I'm not really drawn to carousel horses, but horses aren't my thing. But I just, I saw them and it's like, oh, pick these up and look at these. They're in perfect condition. Precious. I mean, that's, if I choose to, that's $25 right there. So, that's that. Then, what I'm going to show you next. Oh, I found these. I found these the other day, and these are just knickknacks. But I really like them. It does have something written on the bottom, but needless to say, oh, me can't read it. But look, it's a set of three. Like the mercury glass, per se. Um, I wish I could see what it said. It definitely says something. But I got all three of them. I'm showing you this. And maybe you can read what it says. I'll have to peel that sticker off and see if I can't see what it says. But I got, like I said, three of them for five twenty-five half off. So for, you know, two forty, I got three of these. They'll make a great display piece. I love them. Love them. So I got those. And I got this for my John Michael. Because he's going to use it to put... Uh, he's got a coffee grinder. And he's going to grind his own coffee. And keep it in this little tin. So it stays nice and fresh for him. It was a dollar and 58 cent. So he got this. I did get him a pair of black work pants. He likes to go with mommy because I buy him stuff. So that's for him. I did, did I tell you all I did get the little notepad and it was only 98 cents. So then I got, I'll show you these next. I got these three candles. I thought they'd look really good if I decided to do the safari tablescape again. But they came with something else. And I paid 10 bucks. I don't pay 10 bucks for stuff at the thrift store. I did for my Anchor Hawking Relish dish, but on a normal basis, I don't pay that much for stuff. But these, it's like, mm, I might be able to turn these around if I don't want them. Look at these giraffes. Do you see this? Look, all three of them in the graduated heights. So cute, right? And then the little ball candles, they're precious. And like I said, I paid $10.25 for these. But I don't get down to that Goodwill very often. And, but, but, you know, by the time I could go back down there for a half day off, they'd probably be gone. So I went ahead and spent the 10 bucks and got them. So that's the giraffes. And now the rest of this stuff, except for one item... I did actually look up already. So, I will share with you what I found um, and what I can get for it if I choose to sell it. Now, this is... Let me get the little book out so I don't tell you incorrectly. This is UCAGCO Ceramics Japan. It's a footage stand. I paid $3.25 for it. Definitely vintage. Beautiful. If I were to put this on eBay, I could get $25 for this. So I made, you know, I did good on this piece. This one I'm going to show you last because I like that one a lot. These are Crown Staffordshire Gold Scallop Rib Pattern Snack Plates. I have two, four, six of them with the gold etching. Four of them are going for $36 plus $9.52 shipping. So, and I've got six of them. So I could probably get $45 for this plus shipping if I choose to sell them. Then, I got this, and this is not going anywhere. It's staying at my house, because I love it. 
I got a cake plate. It's a big one. Nice size cake plate with the gold foot. I just think it's really cute. I love this. Beautiful. Oh, the price. Dopey me. I paid $4.25 for it. I hesitate. You know, anything over two or three bucks, I hesitate. But I really did like it. And if I really do like it, then it's going to be mine. So it's mine. Now I got, I think, two more items to show you. The first one is this. This, I saw it, and it's like, oh, wow, look at that. And if anybody doesn't know what that scene is, that's actually the Cliffs of Dover. This is a double-stamped plate, and it is says, uh, shoot, I can't remember, HM, HRM, it, it stands for Queen Elizabeth and Queen Mary. That's both of their seals. It's Paragon, and it's Cliffs of Dover salad plate, eight and a quarter inch, selling one plate for twenty nine ninety nine. This I made out on very well, but I'm not selling it because this is my English stuff that I'm keeping. This is mine. It's bone china, and it is absolutely stunning. The Cliffs of Dover. Gorgeous. All right. I have one more thing, and this one I was, I saw it on the shelf, and I said, John Michael, check this, check this out for me, because I don't have the eyesight to see it. This is an um, Opalex butter dish. Um, he looked it up, and another one, they have two of them, they're selling for $46, but mine is a little different, because it's got the gold inlay in there. Or the gold painting on it. But look at it. Absolutely gorgeous. The bottom. <clears throat> you can see the words in there, I hope. And you see how much I paid for it. I paid $2.25. I mean, if I can get 20 bucks for it, if I choose to sell it, you know, that what a, what a deal, man. I did really, really good today on a reselling stance, but like I said, I'm really not a reseller when it comes to stuff. I just collect what I like, but I don't know if I'm really going to get into reselling, but if I do, I'm just being smart. I'm just looking things up, and I'm seeing what I actually am drawn to. So that was my thrift haul for the day. I hope you enjoyed what I got. I'm sorry I had to re-record it, and I guess I might have kind of rushed through it a little bit, but I did what I did. I hope you liked it once again, and until next time, please subscribe, share, comment, and like. Peace.